So today I'm going to show you guys how to make a cone on a slip roller. So you probably need a wider roller. This is our 24 inch model and it really helps if you have the adjustable positions. This is our most popular unit and I have it set in one of the inner positions, not the tightest position. And I have pre-cut my piece of material. If you don't know exactly what uh, your resultant size is going to be, then you can start with a larger material and cut it as you go. But I have here some really thin uh, stainless steel sheet. This is like half a millimeter thick or so. And the way you do this is you put it in and you can start with it in the center. That helps you see how straight it is. And then start applying some pressure with your compression bolts. And you want it to start evenly and then you'll want more pressure on the side that you want a smaller diameter at and so this is pretty thin so I can just do it with my hands but all the rolling will be done with the ratchet I'm going to go quite a bit tighter on this side and one of the difficult things of rolling a cone is that the rollers are intended for it to roll straight through and in order to get the cone effect you have to kind of slide it so and it's not going to want to slide so this is just a straight pull and then, uh, because there's not that much pressure on it, I can slide it like that. So if you keep it kind of straight, then you can have part of the material in there and part of it hanging out on the air, which allows you to get a little bit more roll on the edge. That's what I'm doing right here. You can see it's gone in. And then on this further back section, it's not really rolling it. So I'm going to pop it out here just to show you where we're at. And because it's thin enough, it's got quite a bit of flex to it. And I cut this as a little trapezoid to begin with, um, but I obviously had these weird flats on the end. I'm going to draw some lines on here and cut it and come back in a second. I'm going to cut uh, some of this extra material off, try and make it more regular. patterns in their products and because this is uh, thin enough 
I can put it back in and keep on rolling it closer. Uh, but I'm just going to, this is just for demonstration, so I'm just going to stop right there. But you'll see that you can uh, pretty easily apply some pressure and squeeze it to make your cone and cut whatever shape you need and keep rolling as needed. And as you'll, you'll find with um, almost all the things you roll with a roller, you're going to have some degree of flattening on this edge. Um, sometimes it's pretty large. You got about an inch and a half between center roller to outer rollers. Depending on how you slide it through, you may be able to get less flat and more curved. And that is how you can make a cone.